What's happening, HC Nation? Hey, Zach Edwards here with another Whatever Wednesday. Now, just so the people have never seen this before, my name is Zach Edwards. I'm the founder and creator of Historical Conquest. And I started this game up so that people can enjoy history again. And not just in a lectures or book study or things like that, but playing a game. And what better way of learning than playing games, right? So this month at our tournaments all across the United States, we created a scenario, a sorry, a prize for anybody that got into the survivor scenario. And the su survivor scenario, try saying that 10 times fast. Survivor scenario, survivor scenario. Okay, um, survival sh scenario is where you have your opponents attacking you with everything from earthquakes to volcanoes to even the atomic bomb, Chernobyl, all these different natural disasters throughout the game. Now the gameplay is much like the games of like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic, but with the gameplay of Risk. So think of a Risk board. If somebody takes over your land, you move people, little figurines in there. If someone hits you with a nuke, it wipes the whole country out and no one can use it for the rest of the game. So um, one thing that with this scenario that we, we set up, this prize for these scenarios, we had two that came back. The best scenarios, the best survivors at these tournaments. One was in Minnesota and one was in Illinois. Um, Carter was the one in Minnesota and this is what he had. He had opponents play an earthquake against him, two volcanic eruptions, and one atomic bomb was dropped on him. And he still survived all that. So even if your opponent has strong cards, much like the ones that were listed, you can still survive, you can still win. The other one was Jacob F. in Illinois. He was hit with one earthquake, just like the other one, two Mount Vesuvius volcanic eruptions, just like the other one, and two nuclear bombs. That poor guy. Um, so I have actually seen it where someone had all their countries wiped out by atomic bombs. Now, I have to make a correction. I said that you couldn't use the, the card for the rest of the turn, the rest of the game. You can, the atomic bomb, it's three turns and then you can use the land over. Chernobyl is where the card is discarded. Not that you can't use it the rest of the game, but the card is discarded, so you have to find it. Somebody else has to find it if it's your card. Okay, so in my scenario that I went through, I had two nuclear bombs dropped on me. It wasn't a third one. That was Chernobyl that was used on one of my countries. So that was three countries that were taken out. Oops, sorry, three countries that were taken out. Um, I also had uh, the Salem Wish Trials, the Black Plague. I mean, this person, actually, I think it was two people. These people were had a vendetta against me. I guess I was the creator, so of course they'd have a vendetta against me. Um, and they wanted to take me out, so they hit me with everything that they had. Lost city of uh, Lost Colony of Roanoke, all these ones that wipe out countries and everything. They used them. Anything they had, they used them against me. And I still survived, and I won by morale. So uh, another scenario that I went through, I had a time when I had three players, no, sorry, five players against me. We were actually at a convention, and there's five people all playing the same game. There's a six-player game, but they were all coming for me. They all wanted to take me down. So. I accepted the challenge and I still trashed him. At the same time, I'm not the best player per se. I mean, there are some really good strategists that play the game, um, such as Josh, who contributes to these um, vlogs pretty often. He's actually competed against me and my son. And uh, his, I can't, I, I think it was, we played teams. And so him and his daughter actually beat us. At the same time, we ran out of time, so we had to end it at morale. So we're gonna have a re-challenge, uh, a re, yeah, we're gonna redo it um, and try it again and see what we can do. And this time it's gonna be Josh and his son. So game on with that. Uh, we still try to figure out when it is. The next two weeks, I'm still at conventions and then I got family vacation. So it's, <laughs> It's gonna be a trial trying to get a hold of us, but at least it's during the summer, so schoolwork is less, and so we'll be able to do that. So thanks for joining me on this Whatever Wednesday. I'm gonna cut it here, because we had some great scenarios where people were actually known as survivors. So the lesson today for this is you can survive. You can actually win. 
um, at being a survivor. Doesn't matter if things come up your, your way, bring you down, you can survive them. You have to have the right attitude, you can't give up, and you just gotta move forward. So thanks for joining me on this Whatever Wednesday. I hope you are able to take that in your normal daily life, not just in the game, but in regular life. Keep going forward, keep moving, you'll make it. I promise you, just don't stop. Don't pity in yourself, keep going. And I'll talk to you later. Take care guys, we'll see you uh, tomorrow with a sneak peek Thursday. Nothing big, but it's some things that we're working on right now that I think you'd be interested in. Thanks so much, we'll talk to you soon, bye. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually. Take care, bye.